We're playing with nanos and PC boards again today. Hey, what's happening guys? You remember this board we did about a week or so ago? This was my Nano Experimenters board. Put your Arduino Nano right on here. It gives you access to some buttons, some LEDs, and some ports. Well, I asked you guys for your input on what we could do for version 2, and I got a lot of responses. And I also want to thank you guys for giving me over 10,000 views to this video, which helps out quite a bit. All right, let's go over to the computer and take a look at the changes that we made. All right, so here we are with version two of the Arduino Nano Experimenters board. And I uh, made some of the adjustments you guys said you were looking for. First of all, I moved all of the I squared C pins apart. So there's I squared C1, two, and three. And then some things I added was a spot for a DHT11 sensor, a 10K potentiometer, an LDR, and an RGB LED common cathode. And then I also took great care to mark everything. So you can see here our DHT11 goes to D10. Our LDR down here is on A7, and our RGB LED is on D10, 11, and 12. Yeah, I know there's some things that you're not going to be able to use together, but there are only so many pins on the Arduino, like somebody said. If you go too far, then you end up with feature creep, and we wanted to skip that. So. As you can see, I'm trying again to get the copper to show through here. And if we take a close look here, it shows kind of a purple color. I, I, I still can't tell. I mean, this should be the copper layer. Like, if we look at copper layers only, let me shut everything else off. There's the top layer copper. So you can see how it matches these. Hopefully. I've done it right this time. We'll find out when the boards come in. So there she is. And here is the 3D view. You can see up here we still have all of our switches then our LEDs with their current limiting resistors. This looks coppery to me. All we have to do now is get our boards back from PCBWay. PCBWay, who is a generous sponsor of this video and of the channel, is super easy to get your boards from. Once you've exported your Gerbers from your design program, you just come over here to Instant Quote, do the Quick Order, click Add Your Gerber File, and it's got to figure out which one this is. Decide how many you want. Let's go order five. And decide what color you want. Maybe we'll do Steelers colors. Tick here so that they can change it to gold if they're doing another board with gold. And you're done. Save it, pay for it. If you do DHL, you'll get it in a few days. DHL is probably the most expensive option at $18. Uh, China Post is probably the cheapest at 13. Uh, e packet is the cheapest, but you're going to wait a month to get your boards. It's your choice either way. 
you'll get the same high quality boards from PCBWay no matter how you get them shipped to you. Now you notice this is a $49. That's simply because of the color I, colors I chose. You see, if I go back to a white silk screen, it's down to $15. So you choose what's right for you. Exactly six days later, and we have a package from PCBWA, who's celebrating their sixth anniversary. Looks like they punted it all the way, the way across the Pacific Ocean. But let's see what's inside. Hey, nice PCBWA sticker. And our board. Yeah, I went with red just to save some money. And I ordered a few more to send out to friends and patrons. And still no copper in my logo area. I don't know. I give up. The boards themselves look really nice. Guess we should put one together and find out, right? Well, let's get our soldering gear together and make a board. So here's a super high speed uh, soldering montage for you. Generally, like always, I just start with the small components, the uh, lowest of the board, the resistors, use some flux, get them all down. Then I move up to things that are a little bit taller, maybe capacitors or, or diodes or, you know, whatever along those lines. Finally, we add in the, uh, the uh, header, which are the tallest things, and the uh, 7805 voltage regulator and that's pretty much it just a matter of trying to get everything in there nice and tight and as level and perpendicular and straight as you possibly can I, I, I can't do it perfect I don't try to do it perfect I just try and get it as close as I can I mean that's all you can really ask of anybody do your best nobody's perfect right All right, I figured you got tired of watching me solder, so I went ahead and just finished it. There she is. Not looking too bad. I like the uh, RGB LED. There's our LDR in series with the 10K resistor. There we have uh, access to D2 and D3. A0, A1, uh, we're hooked up here to A7, or I'm sorry, A6, we have one, two, three I squared C ports, one SPI port, let's uh, plug it in and see if it does anything. Okay, we just whacked in a couple quick things to show you how it works. For instance, I put in a little into the sketch, if I press this button, the first switch one, which grounds D4, which means D4 will show a zero or a false, then the red light should come on. Now, the LDR is on A7, and if it gets darker than a certain level, let me turn the lights off up here. Then the green light comes on. And the yellow light. Oh, where's my screwdriver? My screwdriver, my screwdriver. Whatever. Oh, it's right here. This one controls the PWM on the yellow light. So, there you go. I hope you enjoy it. 
there's going to be a version 3. But this is version 2, and it's working. I like it. I'm happy with it. Let me know what you guys think, okay? If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Big thanks to all the patrons. Big thanks to PCB Way for sponsoring this video. Check them out for your piece for your PCB manufacturing needs. That's it. I'm out. Peace.